Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Unity 3D platformer tutorial series. Now, in the previous episode, we finished getting our camera all working so that we can look around uh, as we move to the universe and stuff, and we can turn the camera around and then move in whatever direction we face the camera, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to be able to do, and we can run and jump around to our heart's content, and we can have all the fun that we want to have. But the problem is, if we move the camera so it's looking down, like that, or if we move the camera so it's looking up, if we move it all the way in, the camera flick, flicks around and freaks out, and now all of a sudden, we if we keep um, moving in the same direction, the camera will do the exact opposite movement. So at the moment, if I move the mouse down to make the camera look down, if I keep looking, keep looking, I keep pulling down, it'll flip, and now all of a sudden I'm still pulling down but the camera starts going up and that's the exact opposite of what we want to happen. We want it really to go to kind of a maximum point and then not go any more than that. So we're going to take a look at how to solve that and make it work a little bit better and a little bit more sensibly for us. But before we go ahead and do that, uh, I just want to say that we've now moved this project up into Unity 2017.1. Um, uh, if you were working on this project in Unity 5.6 before, uh, if you just open this project in Unity 2017. It's the exact same project, not in changes. There's no code changes you need to make or anything like that. There's no problems with uh, doing this whole project in Unity 2017 or indeed doing the project in Unity 5.6. There's no difference. It's all the exact same uh, code that we have to use in our games. So let's take a look at how to fix this up. So the problem, if we open up our camera controller here, at the moment we have our rotation on the vertical axis here applying to the x-axis of our pivot and that's making it rotate forward and rotate back but the problem is if our pivot goes past 90 then that starts giving us weird issues um, with how we're setting the rotation of uh, where our camera should go and stuff like that so we don't want that to happen because we're moving our camera's position based on that rotation and offsetting it, setting it from the player we don't want that to happen uh, just completely going forward so what we need to do is essentially just set a limit of how far up the camera can go and how far down the camera can go so what we're going to do is after we set the pivot uh, point here what we'll do is say uh, well first of all I'm just going to type in a little comment here and say limit the up slash down don't know how to word, spell the word down apparently, but limit up, down, camera, rotation. So that's just to remind ourselves this is what we're doing with this little section of code here. And basically what we'll do is we'll say if our pivot dot rotation. So we want to look at the rotation of our pivot. And if I just switch back over to Unity for a second. And we'll just do a quick little demonstration here. I'm going to play the game like this. I'm going to make it so we're pointing forward and I'm going to hit control shift and P we'll pause the game so that our camera won't move anymore and we can look at our rotation over here so we know we're rotating around the x-axis here and when we're leaning forward like this it's going to uh, a degree basically of 31 here so if I unpause it with control shift P again and keep going up and up and up as we go forward we go past 90 and we keep going all the way forward until we get to 180 and we're basically back at the same level as we were before but the problem is with how unity represents these values is a little bit different than uh, how you would maybe think of degrees so normally there's 360 degrees in a circle you get to halfway around that's 180 degrees when you go past that within unity what it basically says is you go from 0 to 180 in a positive value but you also go from 0 to 180 on a negative value so rather than going to 180 and then going to say 190 and continuing onwards what it does is goes past 180 and actually starts at minus 180 then and goes backwards from there so that's how it represents it here in the editor but how that actually gets handled within code is slightly different it's because we're using quaternions and as we discussed before they can be a little bit weird uh, to kind of wrap your head around 
So we're going to have to do a couple of little different things, but we'll, they won't be too complicated once we start uh, implementing them. You'll see it's actually very straightforward. So switch back to our code here. So what we need to do is we know we're using the x axis of our rotation. So get to get the rotation on the pivot, we don't want to just access the x value because again, that's the x value of the quaternion, which is a completely different thing. So what we'll do is say pivot dot rotation dot Euler angles. So as before down here, we got remember remember we got the Euler angles for the desired angles when we were wanting to move the camera originally. Well now we're going to get the desired the Euler angles of the pivot rotation. And we're going to get the x value because we know that's the one we're playing around with here. And here we're going to say um, if our rotation angle dot x is greater than uh, let's say the maximum amount we want our camera to move up. We're going to say we'll put it at 45 for now. That'll do. And we'll we'll go back and we'll change that as we go on but we have that we're, we're saying if our angle is greater than 45 so basically if we start moving the camera up and it goes above 45 we don't want it to go any higher than that so we can say if the angle is greater than 45 then set um pivot dot rotation uh equal to new quaternion dot Euler and we're basically saying okay limit the x rotation to be uh, our 45 so we'll say um, we'll just say 45 there and then on the y and the z we know we want both of those to be zero all the time over here so that would be fine that would that would do our job for us but the problem is if we go look in here we press play now okay so we can see our rotation is 19 and we go we move up 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 and we get to 45 and perfect that's doing exactly what we wanted to do it's uh, limiting our rotation so that um we can't go any higher than this and that's that's exactly what we wanted to do but if we start moving down and as we go down and go below zero it snaps up to 45 which at first you think okay that's a little weird why is it doing that that's that doesn't seem like it should make sense. So what's going on there? Well, if we stop this running and go back into our script, as we discussed, uh, Unity, when it handles rotations, it goes from zero to 180 and also from zero to minus 180. At least it does in the editor here, but rather confusingly, what it does also is say that value between zero and minus 180 is effectively 180 to 360. So even though it says something completely different in the editor, back in the script, it's it, it, it logically you have to assume that you're working with 360 degrees. So what we need to do here is say that if the X angle is greater than 45 and the X angle like this, is less than 180. So now we can hit save, go back in here, let that compile, and now we press play. And again, we'll have it go up to 45, just the way we want. But now if we go down, we're no longer limited to just like going down like that. We still have our, our problem when we were going down, but that's because we haven't sorted that one out just yet. But now we, we know we can set the top value be limited so let's do the same for the bottom value so let's go back in here and here we're going to say if uh, the same pivot dot rotation dot Euler angles dot x so we can just copy that and paste it in here so if that value is um, this time we're going to see if it's greater than 180 like that and Basically, what we want to check is, is it uh, at 45 degrees below 360? So to do that, we can just say, what is 360 minus 45? Well, that's 315. So we can say, okay, check if the pivot angle X this time is greater, uh, sorry, 
yeah, greater, no, less than 350. So it's a, it's a little bit of a confusing one to uh, wrap your head around, but we'll, we'll see it demonstrated in action now in a second. But just imagine that, so on this circle, if I just very quickly open a little bit of paint here to demonstrate, um, let's get this brush. We draw a little circle. So this is our start point here. This is 180, like that. So we have it worked out now so that we can get up to 45 here. That's perfectly fine. But 45 down here is actually 315. So basically we're saying if the number is greater than 315, that's fine and dandy. We don't need to worry about it. But if the number gets to be below 315, so say it's like 290 or something like that, if it's below 315 and above 180, then it's in somewhere in this zone, and we don't want to we don't want it to go into this area. So just set its value to be 315. So we we'll go back in here, and here we can just say, okay, we know we're above 180 and less than 315, like we just said. That is this area here, and then we can just say pivot dot rotation well basically we can just copy this whole bit of text here paste it in there like that and instead of 45 we'll set it to be 315 so we'll save this go back in here press play so now we can look up and it gets stuck here so that our player is able to look down like ni nicely but it won't flip around and go crazy and now we can hold down and now it gets into a certain close range to the player but never gets to that point where it flips around all over the place like crazy so no matter how much i'm pulling 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 for the camera to change nothing changes uh and it behaves just the way we want it to so okay perfect let's unpause that or unplay that uh, and we just go back in here and of course we never really want to hard code in these values into unity what if you want to be able to make a change so you want to be able to change uh what uh, how much view and angle you're, you want your player to have. So what we're going to do is create two values up here. We're going to create a public float uh, max view angle and a public float min view angle. So this is how high they're allowed to go up and how low they're allowed to go down. So we're going to say here so instead of 45 degrees, we're going to replace that with our max view angle, like that. And then the maximum we want to set it is to max view angle in here. And in, and in here, instead of saying min view angle just completely here, what we'll do is say this is 360 plus whatever our min view, oh, our min view angle is. So that'll be, so we'll set this minimum view angle, say to, we can set it to minus 45. And what that'll do is it'll take 45 away from our 360 value, which is a full rotation, obviously. And then it'll set that as the maximum if we put it in here. So we'll just type in again, 360 F plus min view angle. So we'll save this, go back into Unity, go to our player and now once that compiles oh no sorry uh, to our camera <laughs> uh but here we have our max view angle so let's set that a bit higher this time let's set it to say 75 and our min view we're going to set this one to minus we'll set it to say minus 60. so now if we press play now we can well 75 is a little bit too high because of the way our rotation works actually so let's Stop that one. We'll put this back to 65, say. There we go. So now we're effectively looking pretty much straight down at our player. And now if we go the other way, now we're looking up. We're looking up plenty, kind of. We're getting a good bit closer to the player here. But that's okay. We can see we're also being limited and we're not getting stuck floating around all over the place. So perfect. That all works fine and dandy. We got our, our camera being limited uh, as it moves through the world. There's one tiny, tiny little thing that I want to add in here, which is 
how to invert the camera on the Y axis. Now this is a thing where, for example, at the moment it's set so that if I move the mouse up, the camera will start looking down. But if I move the mouse down, the camera will start looking up. Some people prefer if we move the mouse up, the camera will look up. And if we move the mouse down, the camera will look down. To be honest, I prefer it that way too. But it's good to be able to give the option for doing that. So what we'll do, if we go back into our script, what we have controlling that is our pivot rotation here on the vertical axis. And to set the ability to invert our Y axis, uh, what we can do is say public uh, bool and we'll call this invert y and what we'll do instead of this little bit of code I'm just going to comment it out for a second but we'll actually reuse it uh, in about two seconds but what we'll say is if invert y is so if invert y is true then we're going to use this little value here which is our pivot that rotate vertical and then we'll say else so otherwise if that is not true then all we do is say pivot dot rotate minus vertical it's very straightforward very simple we can save that go back into here press play and now when we move the mouse up it makes the camera look upwards and if we move the mouse down the camera looks downwards we're still all nice and limited just where we want but if we go over here and turn invert y on and then click back over here now the camera moves the exact opposite way uh, to the way it did a second ago it's quite simple it's the easiest thing in the world to change but it offers players the ability to be free to kind of um, choose which pre which preference they have so there you go, we've got our camera all sorted out and all working the way we want it to. So in the next episode, we're going to take a look at replacing our player that we have here, our little kind of blue uh, capsule collider object. Uh, we're going to take a look at replacing that with an actual real player model and start making some animations and stuff and make our player look a bit more entertaining so that we actually can have a bit of a game going and having a bit of fun. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with some more tutorial awesomeness and gaming goodness.